Hey guys, this is Matt Wilson with Brown Manufacturing. Today, uh, I want to go over something pretty simple, but uh, something how I set up like my gun belt. I use a Ronin Tactics belt. Two Lamb's a good friend of mine, and so I run his gear on my belt. I use his mags and all that. I use a CNG Garmin 550 holster for the Garmin because that's what I run on my dog when I have him on this belt. Uh, I also run a Safari Land with a Ronin Tactics leg strap for a Glock 19. The real thing that I wanted that I wanted to show was when you guys are looking at a gun belt and seeing how you want to set it up. Think about not only you being an officer first, you being a military guy first or whatever it is, but also how can you incorporate some of the stuff on your belt, some of the real estate for your dog. Obviously I said, you know, I run the the 550 CNG holster uh, on the front, you know, on its left hand side. So if I have the gun up, that kind of thing. Uh, but one one big thing is I always keep a extra muzzle or my dog's muzzle, ram muzzle on the belt, just kind of dangling in the back. I keep a retention lanyard, um, RA-185 bungee leash with frog clip that's clipped to the middle of the back. So when it's here, the dog is right next to me. I run a lot of stuff on the left side of the belt and I keep the right side of the belt pretty clean, obviously because the firearm's over there. Uh, another option that people usually choose is they, they choose something like a dump pouch. This is our 39 BP or ball pouch that will slide over a two inch belt like this very easily. And you can kind of have it there for a Kong, treats, whatever else, or if you are, you know, dumping mags in there and you need to throw empty mags in a dump pouch. Um, so there's kind of some options. One big thing is I always keep a pair of gloves, uh, running a dog. It's, it's one of those things that I have burned my hands so many times on a leash on a track or doing stuff like that in training that I will not ever do it again. So I run some Petzl rope gloves on the front, but really any kind of gloves is always a good idea to have on you. This is some basic real estate that you guys can keep uh, clean and on your belt to where you're running it, where you, where you actually want it to be. Um, I don't, I mean, obviously it looks like a lot, but I don't put a ton on here because it's usually on a plate carrier. It's usually on those pouches because I carry that a lot better up here than I do down here. So just some things to think about, you know, whether that's an extra med kit, a dump pouch, the muzzle, a retention leash, whatever you want. It's always good to have extra extra options because like, you know, the fun saying of, you know, two is one and one is none. It's always good to have some extra stuff on your, on your uh, belt. So that's uh, our gun belt setup and thank you guys for tuning in.